Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Last episode we did the Cacticket Canyon, did we? Yeah, no we didn't, we did the so Soggy Swamp, didn't we? Did we? No, we did the Cacticket Canyon, it was the Soggy Swamp before that. Because we faced the Skeleton Horseman, didn't we? Yes! So that was it, so now we've got the Pumpkin Pastures and the Desert Temple unlocked. I kind of want to go to the Desert Temple if I'm honest with you. So that's probably where we're going to go. But I always like to do my gear at the beginning of an episode. So, we'll salvage some of our gear. Uh, 23 to 70. I think that's better than what we've got. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Uh, 23 to 70. That was even better. But this is just a one shot. The bow that we've got is a multi shot bow. So, I think we're going to keep the bow that we've got. We'll keep our totem of undying. Get rid of our mercenary armor. 30. What was that? Uh, this was 24 times 3. So, we'll get rid of that. I'll keep that other bow that we've got. The, 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 the one at the top. What is it? The long bow. Well, partly because I'm British, but. Also because it's got insane amounts of damage, 23 to 70, 27 to 82, so yet again, a 58 ranged attack. That one's like pretty good as well, so we'll keep a hold of that. Uh, Totem of Regeneration, 74, uh, 61 health yield, uh, 25 seconds of cooldown. So this one's better than the, than the new one we got, so we'll get rid of that one. We can also, I don't know, that, that says unique, I kind of want to keep the unique ones. We'll get rid of those. Uh, we can get rid of our first bow. We don't need it anymore. We got a better bow now. So we're all good. So what I like to do at the beginning of each episode is I like to buy at least five items of gear. We've got the emeralds to do so. See if we get anything worth keeping. And then maybe we'll have another one. Maybe we won't. Okay, so the mercenary armor is better than the armor that we've got. So we'll take that. So what we'll do is we'll also salvage that so we get our enchant points back. We don't really want that. I'm not too fussed about the pickaxe. Again, the scatter crossbow, not worth it. Short bow, I guess that's faster, but no, I don't really want to. We've got the long bow. Okay, so we're good. So let me enchant this. I uh, reduce your cool time between uses of artifacts. So we don't have enough to fully enchant that, which is unfortunate. But it's doing pretty well either way. So shall we go with one more? Let's go with just one more. Oh, thief's armor, but th that isn't any better. Okay, so let's jump into this now. So we're going to go to the desert temple. The story here is the wind-blown sands of the desert temple have wiped away traces of the vast and ancient kingdom. Yet secretive powers still linger here. The enchanters of this ancient nameless kingdom once practiced necromancy, magic that summoned the dead. Now generations later the illagers have arrived to try and pry that power from these dusty tombs. Who knows what power they may find, but something else also protects these dusty crypts. Oh. Am I the only one who's thinking boss fight here? There's got to be a boss fight here, right? There's got to be. Got to be. I like that gold. I like them emeralds. I kind of like all of that good stuff. I, I want that. I really want those gold and emeralds. Deep within these halls awaits a powerful necromancer, the forgotten ruler of a nameless kingdom. The necromancer wields an enchanted staff that holds the power to summon the undead. We must destroy it before the Arch Illager can claim it in his tiny evil hands. That would surely be the doom of us all. Okay, so we gotta take out a magical staff. Tell us where we're gonna be able to get some sort of like evil doer at the end that's gonna be summoning a lot of undead. So I'm looking forward to that boss fight. I love boss fights in games, absolutely love them. So. It looks like this desert temple is straightforward so far. We've got some fire there. Gotta be careful of that. That's like the um Oh jeez, what's that? Enchanted skeleton. Okay. Let's let's take our bow out. Let's take our bow out. Let's equip No, I want to Jeez! What am I doing? What am I doing? I just want to equip my bow. I want to equip this bow and I've equipped everything else. Okay. This bow deals a lot more damage than I want to do. I want to face the skeleton from a from a distance. Stop going after the zombie. Let's get rid of the husk. Okay, there we go. Screw the skeleton. I'm moving to the nether. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we haven't seen any wither skeletons yet. We haven't had any nether mobs at all. Okay, I'm running low on arrows, so I want to be careful about how much arrows I really do use. Let's grab this pot over here. Okay, we should be able to take this out. Pop the mushroom. That'll allow me to swing the glaive a lot faster. That's why I like the mushroom. The mushroom and the glaive combo is really good. The glaive is like super powerful. I love it. I love glaives. Okay. No more enchanted skeletons over here, so we can just take rid of this. These this one's got a helmet on him and he can get got. Ain't, no, ain't nobody got time for helmet wearing skeletons. We need more arrows. 
Okay, potion of swiftness. That doesn't increase our speed we attack with. Hello. All right, it looks like he's part of this posse that's summoning undead. Okay. So let's take out these. That's skeleton. Is that a skeleton with a glaive? That is. That is. That's totally a skeleton with a glaive. Okay. Okay. Try and take out these. Pop the mushroom. We get some quick attacks. Come back here, you sir. Yes. He's got. So he was easy enough. This guy's got a got a shield. He can get got. It's amazing how much they could do with a skeleton. Okay, so we got enchantment points earned. So the question is, can I enchant this anymore? Enchantment costs two. Yes. So we need another three levels before I can enchant anything even more. Let's get rid of him. That's probably not a wise idea. I should have saved that because the arrows are looking low. I do want to kind of stockpile some arrows in this episode just in case there is a boss fight. Because it's more than likely there's going to be a boss fight. So definitely want to stockpile that, to stockpile that arrows. So guys, this is going to be the last daily episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I'm going to start introducing some of my old series it's back into the flow now. I want to return to Minecraft Survival. If you haven't seen that series, it is my Minecraft Survival where we are building up a forever world in Minecraft Survival. I got some really cool ideas to build in there from this game, so I'm looking forward to going back to that. But this series isn't going away. There's still going to be episodes of this, probably every other day for a while. It's a nice and easy one to record, so I kind of like it. It's, it's super easy and super chill. I love it. And there's still a lot I want to do in this game. I'm not finished with this game yet. Not finished. Not even close to being finished. We haven't even got a single piece of legendary gear. We haven't done this game with the hardest difficulty. There's a lot that I want to do. So we're going to keep on going. Anything down this way? Not even a chest. Not even a chest. Oh, jeez, game. I just wanted a chest. Just a nice little chest with a nice shiny emerald inside. I don't like that. I, 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 I'm sorry. 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 Sorry, pooch. But I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. Arrows. Good. Bread. Brilliant. Hello, zombie. So we've got to be careful. It looks like there are traps in here. Somewhere. Find the golden key. Oh, I like this. I like these keys in this game. The keys are really amusing. If you haven't seen the keys yet, you have to protect them. There's one of those traps again. I probably shouldn't have walked on it. Okay. Let's pop the mushroom and get rid of all of these. The mushroom makes it super easy just to, just to fly through them. Okay, something is like knocking us back. So now that... <laughs> wow, this guy is spawning a lot. Like, I can't even get close to him with the amount of zombies he's spawning. Like seriously, we can't get close to him. He's spawning more zombies than I can take out. And he's dealing damage to us. Okay. That is a tough one. He is spawning so many zombies. We can't even get to him. He's spawning more zombies that we can take out. Okay. Okay, I've got to, I've got to make the risk here. That's why he's spawning so many zombies because there's two of them. Okay. <laughs> That's why it was so hard. There was two of them. Oh, we, we got them. Uh, what does this do? Oh, I thought it was going to be like a trap. There was we still on it. It did something. Okay. This looks to be a dead end. So, oh, no, there's something down here we need to press. Oh, there's a golden key lock. So, we got the golden key. We've got to be careful that we don't get hit with this. A couple of skeletons with a shield. I should be able to take these out. No, we got hit. Go back here. You, you're mine. I want that. I love the way the golden keys work. So it looks like there is something here. Now, there are secrets in these. And I will be coming back and I will be trying to find the secrets. Don't get got by that. I don't know if that's an insta-kill or not. Okay, that skeleton didn't manage to actually knock the key off of us, which is good. But the first playthrough is just kind of casual. Okay. Let's, let's utilize this key first, and then we can take out the skeleton. Okay. Oh, yeah, more arrows. I'll take that. We'll heal, pop a heal, and through here we go. Yep. Oh, jeez. I was almost I was almost game over time. Let's let that go first. Oh, that's a blade there. Reminds me a little bit of Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness is a fantastic game. So we've got a way down here. This way is off the... Oh, they're using, t they're using Glades Terracotta Lock. That's cool. Not to show it goes, but still. Okay, let's say this is a little bit off of the pathway that we're supposed to go. So maybe there's a chest in this area. What are you? What, what are them? They, they're like phantoms. Oh, I can't move because he's got me. Like phantoms, aren't they? I don't know what they're supposed to be. I like them, though. Okay. Let's try this area first. Oh, TNT. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Don't want to get caught in this fire. This fire tears to do a bit of damage. I don't think I'll be able to throw that over there. I want to try, though. Nope. 
Okay, let's click that. Bit more spiders. I wonder if this opens this, but there's a chest inside it. I wonder, I wonder. Okay. You can get got, sir. Oh, jeez. Caught in the spider's web again. I tell you, I just cleaned my dining room. The amount of spider webs I found in my dining room. You'd think I had dusted it in years. But I was brave. Casey was very brave. He sent his daughter over the duster just in case there was any spiders remaining. It ain't, ain't no KC dealing with spiders. No sorry. I don't like them. Oh, there's a chest there, look. So what do we have to press these for? I bet this lifts up like a bridge or something to be able to get to it. Oh, jeez. I'm trapped by the spider again. Grab that. More emeralds, sir. Yes, please. Now, I'm, whenever I play a game like this, I always like to have like a set amount of emeralds that I will not go below. Or a set amount of money that I like to keep just in case of emergencies. And in this game, I like to not go below a thousand. Or I'll just go below a thousand and that's when I'll stop spending them. I think it's scary. I always used to keep a certain amount of gold on me as well. Just in case I needed something for a mission or those. An item that I wanted really, Brad. Brad? Who's Brad? Bad. But I, I think I might do a playthrough of Skyrim on the second channel. I might do. I, I want to play it. I just don't know if I have the time to invest in it. That's all. Yes, look. It's, it's raised the bridge. Look. Cool. There we go. You picked up Grim Armor. Which is worse than what we've got. 100% soul gathered. Cool. I want to try to see if I can blow that door open with the TNT. Let's find out. Let's find out. Did do anything? I don't think it did. No. So, no, we're going to blow a door open there. Okay. Because, like I say, there are secrets in these levels that I, I don't know how to access. And I'm the kind of player I like to try and figure it out for myself, first of all. And then if I can't figure it out, then I'll use a guide. But I'll, I'll probably spend some time on a stream or something. Oh, Enderman. Trying to figure them out. Okay, we angered the Enderman. Okay. Oh, Pack Rat. Yes, sorry. Let's go ahead and summon in our wolf. Where's the Enderman gone to? There he is. Let's just get some wax in on him. There we go. Okay, some more. Another dog. I think our previous dog bit the dust, unfortunately. Get rid of that husk. Ended up here. There's like a place up there, but we can't get there. Where's the Enderman? He keeps appearing and then disappearing. You can have an arrow, sir. You Enderman. Don't it, my dog. What did Pongo ever do to you? What did he ever do to you? Come on. One more hit and that should be it. Yes, the Enderman has gone down. Alrighty then. Glaive's a bit slow. I think the other glaive that we had, the one with the poison on it, was faster. Can I stand on this carpet? Oh, jeez. There's another one of them. Okay. I don't want to spend too long. I want to get rid of him first of all because we've seen what two of them can do. Two of them is more than what we can handle. Got to be careful of those projectiles from him. Okay. Let's pull up the shield. Oh, he's gone ahead and got out of our range. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of him. Come on, he's only got a couple more hits. We've only got a couple more hits as well. Okay, that was extremely dangerous, but we managed to do it. Those guys are dangerous. I'm dreading the harder difficulty. There's another one. There's another one. Okay. Get in. Get out of there. Pop our mushroom. We should be able to cut through most of these with the mushroom. There we go. There we go. I'm just kind of brute forcing those guys. That's my plan. Potion of swiftness. Get rid of the skeleton. Not the skeleton spider, first of all. We don't want to be stuck in a web when there's a lot of these guys around. Get rid of that. Oh, TNT. Yes, please. Okay. I got a plan for this TNT. I'm going to hold on to it until we next see one of those um, spawning dudes. Because there is an achievement to take out 10 enemies with one piece of TNT. So it looks like that's the way to go. So I'm going to go and check up here for a chest. So yeah, it looks like we got to take out 10 enemies with TNT. And I'm thinking if we could get two of those guys that spawn zombies together, throw it at them, we should be able to deal a reasonable amount of damage. Okay. Can I get him to spawn anymore? Or is he only like going to spawn one wave? He's spawning another wave. Okay. Looks like there's time between his spawns. I'm going to let them kind of gather up back there. What, what is over here, anyway? Okay, there, there's another one. But again, he's, he's only like spawning five or something. So there's not two together. I'm going to wait till there's two together. Right, stop knocking me back. I don't like your little potion thing. Okay, we're trapped in a spider's web. 
Let's use our heal. Okay. Summon our doggy. Get rid of this guy. Come on. Go down you go. Go to this phantom. Don't want to get caught in that. So there's got to be a chest going all of this way. We'll just drop down here. Look. Get rid of these guys. Should probably go back and deal with that one that I left behind. Okay. Get rid of you. Let's go in there. If we had the short swords, it might be better because the short swords are quicker. A lot quicker. And a sword is better than the glaive in terms of speed. Okay, so nothing over there. One of these phantom guys. We'll grab that health. I like the health. I'll take the health. I'll take the health. And guys, again, thank you so much for all the support on this series. I'm getting a lot of nice comments, and it really makes my day. I love reading nice comments. Ah. Oh, Jeez. They're so amazing. So nice. Okay. Let's see if that gets it. I don't know if that killed 10. I'm going to say no because we didn't get the achievement. I tried. I tried. But sometimes achievements are delayed. Sometimes. But no, it looks like it definitely didn't get it. Oh, Minecraft music is playing in the background. I think that's the first time we've heard this. Anything good here? We got some armor, some thief armor, a bunch of emeralds. Is the thief, thief armor any good? 78 health. We've got 85 now. It's not really worth it. Not worth it. So we came all of this way for pretty much no reason. Okay. Anything over that tippy toe? No. Alright, it looks like it's back. Our little chicken is following us about. Little chicken, we got a nice little cape going. We left uh, one of those one of those phantom zombi them, uh, zombie summoning undead guys back here. You said, can I knock you off the end? I probably can, but I'm going to kill you before I get the chance to. So, at least your body fell. Your body fell to doom and death and devil devil. Okay, eat this. Those, those are like little things that he shoots. We got another piece of TNT. We can try for that achievement one more time. Oh, another level up. Sweet. Yeah, those little beams that he fires, they knock you back. This is not the way out, is it? No, this is the way out. Okay. I'll tell you something, I am loving playing this game. I finally finished doing everything I need to do around my house, so I've got time to sit down and just play properly now, which I'm really excited for. Oh. Come on. I heard that Enderman. I heard him. I heard it. So we've almost got the casual playthrough of this through done. Okay, th there's like got to be 10 enemies here. Come on. That had to be it. There was totally 10 there. Maybe I didn't kill 10. Is it more than 10? We got a sword here, look. A little broken one. Oh, soul knife. That's, that's got the green arrow on it. So that's better. That's better than what we've got. Okay. 53. Ooh. Shall we, shall we try that? We haven't tried this yet. Oh, it's slow. It's slower than the glaive. But it's probably capable of a one-shot in most of the enemies that we face. Okay, break his shield. Okay. All right, I want to get to this guy. Oh, oh, jeez. Heal, heal, heal. want to deal with him quickly. Okay. Not a big fan of this. This, this. this is not good enough. It's not It's not got the crowd clearance that I like. So let's equip our glaive. Our glaive has crowd clearance. This might be good for a one-on-one -on -one boss fight. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to kill my dog. I'm trying to kill my doggy. That's, that's not a good idea. Might be good for a one-on-one -on -one boss fight. But when you try to pick up a lot of enemies, the soul... What was it? The soul... The soul knife isn't that brilliant. So we're gonna... We're not gonna use it. We're, we're gonna go back to the glaive. I like the glaive. Sorry, doggy. I think I just kind of got what you got. Okay, lots of traps here. Doggy doing work. Okay. And when he hits you, he stops you, like stuns you momentarily. Okay. Looks like I'm going to need more damage output for that TNT to be effective. I don't think I can quite kill it. Hello. Okay, lots of soul, lots of phantoms here with their, their soul fires. Hey, I wonder if we'll see anything from the new nether update in the game. Okay, gotta be careful of our health. I'm watching our health like a hawk here. Okay, we'll grab the the apple. Nothing over here. There's not been really much in this in this dungeon in terms of loot, is there? Okay, I hate when he hits us. He proper stops us, and it's annoying. Okay, summon another doggy. Take this guy out. Fight through his zombie horde. Okay, you can eat that. 
How many hours have we got? 146. So I'm not hurting for Harris. Not hurting at all for Harris. Which is good. I mean, we're not brilliant. But we're, we're alright. No more enchanted skeletons yet. No more enchanted skeletons, unfortunately. I like facing those mobs. I know I don't like these mobs and some of the zombies. But I actually secretly do like them. It's one of those mobs that... They're fun to face. They're fun to face, but they're annoying as well. But you like them anyway. Because they're fun to face. They make it interesting. Okay. That has to be something. That, have I literally come all of this way for sweet bugger all? That's what I've come all this way for. Not even a vase. Not even a vase. Not a chest. Just a massive amount of waste of time game. Oh, well, at least we got to face some mobs. So it was fun nonetheless. Okay. Back onto the path that we're supposed to be on. The way that we're supposed to be going. Avoid these. Don't get cleaved by these. Let that go. Avoid that. Little couple of candlestick holders. This way. Okay, we'll go straight forward here. Don't, don't see anything off to the side. Looks like my dog's getting got quite a bit. I can just hear him whimpering and whining, unfortunately. But we're almost to the point where we can summon a dog. No, we're not. It has to cool down. I guess he's just passed away and it only starts cooling down when he passes away. Although I'm sure we were able to summon two before. And when we summoned the second one, it despawned the first one. Pretty sure we did. So, maybe it's just... Oh. Nice. Oh, there he is. The Archillager. Survive the ambush. Okay. Bring it. Arena battle. My arena score is high and it still hasn't been beat. Okay, the spider's got us here. Get rid of the spider first. Get rid of this spider too. Oh, that spider's dead. That spider got cleaved in half. Nice to know the traps work for them as well. For the enemies as well as it does for us. Okay. Skeleton. Get rid of the spider. Oh, jeez. Summon in a dog. Oh, we're trapped. We are trapped by another spider. Okay, this is a good place to stand because this, this cleaver is going to help us out. Okay. Oh, jeez. I, 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 I pop my mushroom and he knocks me back into the spider web. Okay. Okay, okay. Pop a health potion. We ain't going down. We ain't going down. Oh, we've got Enderman and I'm trapped. Oh, jeez. This is bad. Okay. Okay, we're, we're inside of our, our... Okay. Eat my TNT. Alrighty. I dealt with a lot of them. But I think we've still got some of these guys. Oh no, it's, it's all done. It's all done. Ooh, that piece of TNT could not have come at a better time. Thank you, TNT. I do appreciate that help, TNT. I really do. <sighs> okay, we got supplies. And on we must go. Okay. Just a skeleton. Nothing off to the sides again. Anything back here? Nope. Nothing back here, so let's go. Okay. Spider. There we go. Spider can get got. You, sir, too, sir. Welcome to the glade. Oh. Looks like there's not too many pathways off of where we need to go this time around. So we can make some progress here, which is good. Oh. That, was a, that was a tough fight. Oh, Grim Armor. 98 over 85. Yes, please. Yes, sir. -y. Okay. You're gonna have to look at the abilities of these two different armors to see if it's worth it or not. There's a spider. D did I miss something over there? I accidentally popped the mushroom. There is a way to go there, but there's also. No, there's not a way to go down here. Make it phantom. That could get got. I wish the mushroom lasted longer. Okay, I wanna get this pack rat. Get out of the fire, get out of the fire. Okay, I had to use. I had to use my mushroom by accident, did I, before I got in here when I really need it. Okay. These guys are so tough. They're so tough. They're, these guys with some of these zombies are going to be a real pain on a hard difficulty. It's those... those the, everything they do is an annoyance. Okay. From their attack that knocks you back to the amount of zombies that they spawn... Oh, jeez, man. They're a pain in the rear end to face, but I love them. They make the game so much more fun to play. You really got to think. They really keep you on your toes. I like mobs like that. There's some mobs they put in games that are just simply there to annoy you, and they are pointless, and I hate them. But when they're legitimately fun to be, and they act, they have a real reason why they're there, like these mobs do, then they're ones that summon the zombies. They're good to face. They really do make it a challenge. I really like it. Oh, I need my mushroom. Okay, we got to find the better way to sort of take these out. Oh, I popped my mushroom and we got got by another spider again. Oh, man, that spider screwed us over. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna come back for you when I've got my mushroom up. There's something up here I want to grab. This, this, this vase here, or this vase. However you want to say that word. Okay. Mushroom nearly back. Oh, this spider. He's not gonna get us this time. This spider is not. Okay. Some of the dog. There we go. Oh, yes, sir. You got got by the glaive. Nobody got time for you, sir. No, sir. Oh. oh. There's no chest. Why, why, why would you do that to me, game? No chest. I wanted a chest. I wanted a chest. I wanted a chest. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Use my potion. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Oh, my eyes are watering. This is bloody hay fever. I hate hay fever. Okay, we got another enderman. Take out the spider first. Take out these soul guys. There's another spider somewhere, but he seems to be a bit in the distance. So, yeah, we can summon another dog, looks like. So, it looks like the cooldown is... What? Is the cooldown... Oh, the cooldown is quicker if, you, if your dog's still alive. But when your dog dies, the cooldown starts to become slow. Okay. I want to try to deal with this enderman. Deal with this phantom. Okay, we're, we're running low on health. This enderman isn't going to give up either. Okay, there we go. We've got our health back. Enderman hit, hit hard. There we go. The enderman is dealt with. This spider can get got. They're an annoyance. They're a pain in the rear end. You have to watch out for them and avoid them like a hawk. Okay. Get rid of the skeleton in armor first. Oh, popped up. Yes, sorry. So there's an achievement to eat 100 health items. Oh, there's, there's a, something up there. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Oh, right. There's a staircase right here. Try, try finding the staircase. So we leveled up. I'm actually going to check our enchantment points and our levels at the moment. After I've cleared this area. Because we got some new armor. And I wanted to spend our old armor so we get that enchant point back. Let's see if we can enchant our armor. We've got, I believe, our bow enchanted max. I believe. Okay. Oh, no. We've got our other bow enchanted max. So switch to the one that has a higher damage output. Okay. So, uh, did, did I grab that that vase that was over here? I think I did. Yes. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm glad I went back for it now. Even though it's just emeralds, I still want them. Okay, avoid these fires of hell. There we go. You, sir, can run, but you cannot hide. The KC and his glaive will hunt you down. And I will make you hurt. And you could have it all. My empire of dirt. Well, actually, you can tell my empire of TNT. Okay. Grab that. Oh, we gotta be careful. We're, these skeletons do a lot more damage than what you than what you expect. Suddenly, the, the six damage chips away at your health like one out. Okay. So I should probably apologize for something. I, I realized it yesterday when I was... Oh, I'm trapped in a spider's web. I think. Yeah, I was. I wasn't sure if I was trapped in a bit of the, the course there. I couldn't see. So, I'm British. I'm from the northeast of England. I was raised in Yorkshire. And there's a y lot of Yorkshire slang that a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of things that I'll say to my friends. But they have no idea what I'm talking about because they, they, they don't know Yorkshire slang. So, I apologize if I use some slang that you aren't aware of. I do apologize. It's just it's kind of the charm of being KC, you know? Big Trevi Clark with a grin on my face now. The smug face. Gotta, gotta bring out the smug face. Alrighty. Let's get that. Alrighty. Phase over here. Good. Brilliant. See, so, yeah. Anything over here? Yeah, a spider chilling with a couple of skeletons. Now it's the face. Ah. Uh. I tell you, I tell you, I used to be a Minecraft Dungeons player, then I took an arrow to the face, now I just run a shop. Okay, all I want to do is clear this area so I can check my, my, um, items a bit. But every time we get close to it, these, these phantoms, I think they're phantoms anyway, I like them. They're annoying, but I like them. Or that they're interested is probably the word. Because annoying makes it sound like I'm, I'm, I don't like them. I like the mobs when they make the game challenging. Okay. I think we're good. I think we are good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh, we got a new glaive. Yes, sirree. 
So, let's dispensal our old glaive. Uh, we'll dispensal our old mercenary armor to get our, our energy back, our enchanting points back. Uh, 57, 53. Ooh. We'll get rid of this soul knife. Thief armor and this can go. Okay. Let's equip our bow and arrow now. I want to enchant our glaive. There we go. So I need six more levels to get a fully enchanted set of gear. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Now into the bowels of the dungeon. Fetch the staff. Okay. There's something over here, look. What makes me wonder if we could get up there some way. Is there a staircase that I, that I can't see? Over here, maybe? No. Nope. Maybe we could blast ourselves up. There's a staircase there, but that's not going to lead us up, is it? No. Okay, what about over here? I don't think we can... Oh, we could go up a block. Can I, like... Can I just... Come on, recharge. No, no. He always goes into the other direction. Okay. So I can't roll up there like I wanted to. There's a doorway there. Looks like it's going to be the escape route. Um... Uh, okay, there's a, there's a bunch of skeletons here. I don't like this. Okay. The nameless one. Okay. Let's use the TNT. And all of them just can get outside of the blast radius. Okay. Where's the nameless one? I don't see him. Okay, let's summon a dog. Grab our glaive. Use this. Oh, jeez. He's summoning an army of the undead. Okay. Wait for our mushroom to recharge. Got to be careful of his poisonous, venomous sort of things. A nameless one. So what, what Mariang? You couldn't come up with a name for this guy. Okay. Summon a new doggy with new health. Oh. It literally just summons the same dog we had before just next to us. So it doesn't look like we summon a new dog. We just respawn him on us. That's what it does. When we press Y. Okay, cool. Right, is this going to be the first boss that I beat without the need of a life? We've, we've died against every major boss so far. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's like how many nameless ones now? I just saw like five of them. I swear to God there were five of them. Okay. Shouldn't take the Lord's name in vain. I'm a Christian. I'm going to burn in the fire as hell for that. Okay. Okay. Look. Wrong one. I went to go for Y. I, went, I pressed Y, but my thumb rolled over the X first. <laughs> and we accidentally summoned a dog. No, we, we summoned a shield. That was it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, no. I am determined to beat this guy without dying. Wow, his, his attacks did like 60 damage. Okay. Deal some damage. Deal some damage. Okay. We're in this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, jeez. We're, we're close to death. We are close to death. And our potion is quite a ways away from healing up. So I'm just going to run around. I, want, I really want to beat a boss without dying. I really do. So we're just going to take this a little bit easy. Utilize our bow and arrow. We've got like 300 arrows, so we might as well utilize it. Okay, where's the nameless one? Okay. We might be able to beat him. Potion. Oh, oh, oh. Did we beat him or has he got like a slither of health left? He's got a slither of health, health left as, as, instead of a slither. Totem of shielded. Oh, that one's better than the one we've got. Cool. So what, what about these? Spider armor. 100% health, 3% lifesteal armor, and 25% melee attack speed. We could do with that. What's this got? Uh, I don't know. That, that, that was healing us, wasn't it? Because I noticed our health was going up a little bit at a time. And that says lifesteal on it. So maybe that was healing us. Okay, so there's nothing to grab it there. I just want to check before I leave it to make sure I didn't have to pick up his staff. Okay. This, the attack speed will be useful, especially when we get the enchants on it. Uh, we do, don't actually have any at the minute. I really wish there was a place where we could store our gear. I'm going to look around the... The, um... What you might call it. The spawn area. The sort of like between the mission area. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to look around there to see if there is a place where we can store items in a chest a bit more. But I'll do that between episodes. Look at this cat. Look at him. He's up there just chilling. Look. 
we're just gonna end him. Sorry, sir. Sorry, but uh, you have been deleted. Don't do the delete symbol. You knock your controller. Okay, escape. Okay, come on. Yes. Still, I haven't got ten. Want that achievement? Maybe there's something we can get that increases our attack. Or maybe we play on the easiest possible difficulty so the mobs that don't have much health then do it. But it's definitely this is the, the dungeon to do it in, I would say. So that might be something we do. Because again, I do like achievement hunting and we will be going after all the achievements on this game. Boom! Victory! Yeah! Staff is destroyed. Once again, the arch illager is thwarted. Yeah, well, the, this episode's 35 minutes already. It didn't feel that long. I, I, was, I, I looked up and I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm only probably like 17 minutes into this episode. I got time to do stuff for 35 minutes. Whoa. Time flies when I play this game, I tell you. Alrighty then. Let's see what we got. The Tormented Quiver. The Tormented Quiver radiates powerful energy from the eternal source of the undead. Sweet. So guys, I think that's going to call it for this episode. So if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel. I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.